Hey, I'm Randy, and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't think that audio equipment should cost as much as building a two-story barn to house all your farm implements and livestock. So grab a cup of coffee or maybe some brown liquor, sit down, and let's talk about the Prozar Cheap DAC. All right, new sponsor, Charlie's Melatonin in the Strawberry Gummy form. When you want to drug your children to go to sleep at night but don't want to feel bad about it, grab some Charlie's. It's easy on the stomach. Thank God for Charlie's. We use it here at the house, knock the kids out so we can have some peace and quiet. All right, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about the Pro Zor. 192K digital to analog converter, also known as a DAC. Okay, so what is it? It takes either a digital SPDIF input. Uh, I don't have a digital cable, but this is another thing I wanted to talk about. So you take a digital input or a digital coaxial input, and on the back end, it spits out RCA, which is an analog, right and left, okay? And you can take that, stick it right into your receiver. Uh, so, or it also has a 3.5 millimeter out. So the review on this is going to be pretty short and sweet. Be why? Because it's good. It's like $14. And it sounds about as good as this $250 DAC. as a topping D50S, which is a fine product in its own right. This has more functionality. It also has a um, USB, full-size USB input and LDAC Bluetooth. So this is better, okay? This is also $250. This is $15 and sounds close. I mean, if you're on like regular electronics that don't have ultra clear resolution, you're probably not going to be able to tell. Even if you do have that, you're probably not going to be able to tell. And anybody that says that they can tell, come on down to the Cheap Audio Man Studios over here. Let's do a blind ear test. We'll see how you do. We'll see how it works out for you. It's $15. So why is this important? This item is important because you can take your old... Uh-oh. Your old receiver that has all this S-video inputs and stuff like that. And you can use your TV as an HDMI switcher. So don't worry about your putting your HDMIs into your old receiver anymore. You can probably go get one of these on for 30 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. But since it's from like probably 2010, the DAC inside it is going to sound like garbage. Not anymore. You can buy your little $14 Prozar DAC and then run an optical or a digital coax out of your television into this. Or you can go down to your local Best Buy retailer and buy one of these high-quality high $20 DVD players, which happens to have, where is it? There it is, digital coax seal out. So you can take your CD collection from the 1990s if it's still in decent condition and run a line out from that into this and then into here and you can enjoy what's his name vanilla ice your vanilla ice cd you can enjoy it again in all its wonder wonderment high resolution wonderment because this does up to 24 bit 192 which incidentally is like that's what amazon hd music Max is at it. And if you're interested in listening to my test track playlist and trying out Amazon HD Music for free for three months, there'll be a link in the description. Scroll down to the bottom, click the link, scroll down to the bottom of the page, click Try HD, and you get three months for free, and I get a dollar. Also, this will be linked in there. If you buy it, I get a small commission off of it. It doesn't cost you any more, though. So this is important because this bridges a gap. A it can upgrade 
any old receiver into about as good as pretty much any deck under 250 bucks, okay? For $15. Um, you can take a integrated amp or integrated receiver with no deck, such as the 100 to $100, $120-ish Sony 2 channel that I'm gonna do a review on. Now you have a DAC. You can take an old integrated amplifier, like the powerhouse behind me, the Anthem Integrated 225. Put this on there. Now you can bring in uh, optical from your computer or your television or your PlayStation 3 or your high quality. I honestly think this, this weighs slightly more than a notebook of paper. It's that good. You know it's that good. So, anyway, you take the bad DAC out of the uh, chain when you get one of those $20 DVD players to run your CDs and you run it through this and it sounds good. It's 5 volt, which means uh, any little cell phone charger that you've got lying around, you probably have a 10 of them. If it's uh, 5 volt 1 amp, you're good to go. Really, if it's 5 volt anything greater than 1 amp, you're pr probably okay. It comes with a cord. Just be careful. Don't hook up like a 9 volt power supply to this. 5 volt. So vintage gear, uh, this is PCM only, okay? Which means it's not going to do surround sound natively. However, you can still hook this up to your old uh, stereo receiver put it into uh, Dolby surround and it'll it'll do its magic and kind of make it into surround sound so for 50 bucks you can go to Facebook marketplace or if you're very adventurous Craigslist go find an old receiver that still works grab one of these for 15 bucks so you're at 65 bucks grab an old CD player that has a digital out for 20 bucks and so for 85 bucks you're rocking and rolling uh, if your computer has an optical out, you can plug it into here. There's going to be another option. It's it's coming to the cheap audio man uh, soon, and it's a cheap little USB deck. I'm going to try it out. See how it fares against the uh, Dragonfly Red. So bottom line, this thing's awesome. Turn bring anything into the uh, into the um, into the future. Into the future. Don't worry about having some fancy receiver that has all the latest HDMI switching capabilities. Just use your TV. Use the input. If you're my father, it'll be very difficult. But for the more technologically inclined folks about us, change your inputs on the TV. And then run everything out of the digital. Most TVs now have a digital optical out. Some older TVs actually have a digital coaxial out. Either way, this has you covered. Then you RCA, RCA right into it. You're good to go. A short video today, but this is cool. This is less than fifteen dollars, and it's a good DAC. It's a uh, a Cirrus. Uh, what chip is that? Cirrus Logic eighty four sixteen CZZ or Charlie Zulu Zulu. The 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 chip alone sells for like eight dollars, and it's a decent chip. Some people will poop all over it, but it's fine. It's fine. Like I said, blind taste taste test. Blind hearing test. I don't think anybody's going to be able to tell the difference. On gear, that's like a little bit less resolving or clear. Doesn't mean it's not going to sound good. It's going to sound awesome. And you're going to be happy because you spent $15 on a DAC instead of uh, $250. Anyway, if you're, if you're new here, please subscribe. If you like the video, like it. And why wouldn't you like it? It's $15 to make you happy and your ears happy. Fill your soul with happiness by binge listening to music and not binge watching something. Binge listen. Oh, by the way, this, this earns the coveted Cheap Audio Man Laughing Buddha Highest Recommended Product Award. A $15 DAC. 
from the Far East. That can be had for anybody and everyone. All right. Thank you for joining us. Please uh, check out some of my other videos. I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio.